DS Lite. I would, this is not my model, but my sister's model. I would be using my own model, but I'm not for three reasons. This, this, and this. Yeah. Uh, mine, I custom modified mine. When I was younger, I sharpied on it. And, uh, it's just old. Like, the, this. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, so, the DS Lite has the best pin spot known to man. This is also mine from the original. I managed to keep track of mine somehow. So, yeah, uh, as the DS slot, obviously the Game Boy Advance slot, DS Lite, I did say DS Lite, right? Did I say original DS? No matter. Uh, slides in, except this time it sticks out for absolutely no reason. Uh, yeah, the D-pad is a D-pad, the most basic D-pad of D-pad can be. Buttons, they're not, they're pushy, not clicky. But the start, ah. Uh, Alright, the start and select buttons, they're clicky, and I guess these are clicky, but not the clicky I like. On mine, I've used uh, my uh, L so much that you kind of have to push really hard to get the click and it to respond. Yeah. I've been throwing a lot of items, items in Mario Kart in my day. Uh, so, again, look at the inside. It has the DS logo right here. Uh, screens, two screens, obviously. The speakers are pretty good sounding overall. And now let's boot this thing up and uh, see how it looks. Yep. Okay, the bottom, top screen, we have the, all the, uh, clock, and all the normal stuff. Uh, we have the settings, the auto mode, it's basically all the settings that are in the original DS, and I already did a V on that, you guys can go and watch that. So, auto mode means it'll automatically boot up the game if the game is inserted. Manual mode is it brings you to the menu. Oh. I, I chose the wrong thing, but this is what language you want. Yay! Now I can't read. Well. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Game Boy screen, top screen or bottom screen? I always go top screen. But if you ever broke off the top screen for some reason, uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate that. Uh, you can still use it as a Game Boy. Alright, day, time, uh, alarm, time, all your basic stuff, and name. Name, color, uh, birthday, I, uh, cancel, I'm not gonna do that. And secret message, uh, Galaxy Wolf is back, okay, uh, not, I'm not my sister. And you calibrate the touch screen here, and then every time you exit, you shut the system off, so you slide the power back on, as always. And pick the chat. 
download play, except for on lighting, you have four different options instead of two. No back, and there's not a no backlight option. And then this uh, takes you back to the alarm. And then, of course, let's boot up a game. So yeah, uh, everything works like it should. Touch screen works like it should. Uh, I guess I have an. Um, I guess that's just my sister's account. Uh, I don't know not this stuff yet. All right. Uh, so. You get the idea. You just, it's uh, it's a DS Lite. It's really comfortable, and it's what I grew up playing on. And it's uh, very, very good. I always enjoyed this. Uh, it's uh, cheap for what it is, and it's a nice little thing that you can have fun and. Yeah. It's a really cool system. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is my review on the DS Lite. It's the, probably the most beautiful and polished DS I've ever seen. It doesn't have a camera like the newer models, but it's... Small, small enough to fit in your pocket, and it's a good little system. That is my review on the DS Lite. Thank you all for watching. Look out for the DSi review coming soon. See you all later.